Let's draw the graph for y equals 3 fourths x plus 2. We'll do this two ways. We're going to draw a table of values here. We'll put values in for x here and find out y. Then we'll graph those on our paper here. And we'll also look at slope-intercept formula to check our work. So let's put some values in for x. We want them to fit on the graph here. So we'll start with 0 because 3 fourths times 0 plus 2, that just gives us 2. And we can put any number we want in, but again, it'd be nice if it fit on the graph and if it was a whole number. So I'm going to put 4 in for x, because 3 fourths times 4, that would give us 3. 3 plus 2, that's 5. Finally, I think I'll put negative 4 in, because 3 fourths x times negative 4, that'll give me a negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2, that's negative 1. And these values here, they'll fit nicely on our graph paper. So let's start out, we have x is 0, y is 2. x, that's 0, y is 2. We have x is 4, y is 5. So x is 4, y is 5. And we could stop there with two points, but if we made a mistake, we wouldn't know it. So adding that third point in, that help us catch any mistakes. x is negative 4, y is negative 1. And you can see they all line up. Let's put a line through that. Then we'll put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. So this is the graph for y equals 3 over 4x plus 2. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept. So that's where we're going to cross the y-axis here. So on the y-axis, we go down and we find 2 right there. Then for 3 fourths x, 3 fourths, that's the slope, so m there. We could say rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept, we rise 1, 2, 3, and we go over 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's do it again. Rise 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4. So rise over run. And that shows us that this is the correct graph. This is the correct line for y equals 3 fourths x plus 2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.